say that we definitely have the best fans in the world. One Direction ain't lying when they say they really do have the best fans in the world. After all, they are the ones that made the On The Road Again tour so memorable, aside from the boys, of course. So on that note, let's travel back in time and reminisce on seven memorable moments from 1D's OTRA tour, and we've got it all right here on Listed. When One Direction started their On The Road Again tour, Directioners knew it was definitely going to be a great one filled with tons of hilarious and memorable moments. So let us all relive the first time that made OTRA so great. Remember when 1D started the US leg of their tour on July 9th in San Diego, California, and Harry Styles totally bit it on stage? This is one of the many times that he would fall flat on his face, but let's just rewatch it for some laughs. Ouch! <laughs> Thankfully, the hunky singer was a-okay because he got right back up and continued with the show like a total pro. Classic Harry. However, that wasn't the only time that the singer unintentionally stopped the show. At the group's Philadelphia show, a fan held up a sign that said, Hi Harry, you're so nice. But unfortunately, her grammar wasn't up to par with 1D dialect. At least Harry was nice enough to fix it for her, right? But as we all know, Harry isn't the only star or showstopper in 1D. Number three on our list came when Louis Tomlinson made every single fan in the stadium scream because he tore Liam Payne's shirt wide open. Take a look at the glorious moment. Amazing, right? And I'm talking about the ripped shirt here, but I guess the unanimous screams were pretty cool too. Can we just play that again in slow motion? Just, just one more time. And of course, we can't forget about everyone's favorite Irish lad. By now, everyone should know that Niall has some pretty rad rapping skills. He actually dropped a sick rhyme for us when our clever girls Jocelyn and Dana sat down with 1D at the premiere of their This Is Us movie. And One Direction's tour stop in Vancouver, Canada, Niall just had to pay homage to Dre because when in Canada, right? We'll be waiting for that EP, no doubt. Okay, so remember earlier in the video when we agreed with 1D that Directioners are some of the best fans ever? Well, for quite some time, the guys left the fan favorite no control off their set list for the tour, but by the power vested in said Directioners. And after turning May 17th into no control day, the fans were able to get the guys to add it to their set list, and they performed it for the first time in Brussels, Belgium. Check it out. just got that much better because who doesn't need a little Louis solo in their life? And next we have a very memorable and life-changing moment for Liam. The One Direction member has openly admitted that he has a fear of using spoons when he doesn't know where they've been. And when the band performed in Sydney, Australia, Liam was gifted with a giant spoon and proceeded to thank fans while holding on to it. Take a look at his sweet message. I know this doesn't sound very emotional, but it is. We really do love you guys, and I am holding the giant spoon, but I do genuinely mean it. We love you guys. I don't know about you, but that is huge progress for someone who had such a strange phobia of a small, normal-sized utensil. And last but not least, while it's probably wonderful to know the guys of 1D on a personal note, it wasn't so great for Harry's old classmate. Turns out his friend Jack from high school came out to support Harry and the rest of 1D at their tour stop in Oslo, Norway, and in the middle of the show, the poor guy was called out for stealing Harry's girlfriend back in the day. Put on the spot! But it doesn't seem like Harry was too upset about it. Take a look. I was about 14 years old. I told you. And Jack Robinson stole my girlfriend. <laughs> Jack. So, if he's still there at the end of the show, feel free. Well, there you have it. 
seven of the most memorable moments from One Direction's On The Road Again tour. Although the tour is over, these wonderful memories will continue to live on in the hearts of Directioners worldwide. But now I want to hear from you guys. Were you lucky enough to witness any of the moments on our list in person? And is there another memory from the band's shows that you absolutely loved? Share it with us in the comment section below. And for more 1D videos, click right over here to check out five of the craziest 1D fan theories. Thanks so much for reliving all of those memories with me right here on Listed. I'm your host, Paulina Sariga, and I'll see you later. And then click to the left to check out five underrated One Direction songs, and click to the right to check out five underrated Taylor Swift songs.